In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use your Max FaceTime camera to rotate and scale your structure. macOS includes advanced artificial intelligence, which can automatically scan a scene, such as a video frame, and detect objects, such as faces, hands, and fingers. Now, as a genuine native Mac application, Crystal Maker has access to all this, and we programmed our application to interpret finger positions and provide a virtual trackball for manipulating your structure. It's worth noting that this AI control is quite computationally demanding. However, newer Macs with Apple Silicon or M series processors can take advantage of a built-in neural engine to do all the heavy lifting, freeing up the rest of the processor for other tasks. To start, launch Crystal Maker and open your structure. Next, you'll need to enable the hand tracking. Choose Transform Enable Hand Tracking. Alternatively, you can customize your toolbar by adding the tracking button and simply click this to begin. If it's the first time you've used hand tracking, the program will need to ask your permission to access the FaceTime camera. Once you've agreed, you're ready to go. Now there are two different ways of manipulating your structure with the FaceTime camera. You can use a two-handed method, which many users will find more intuitive and more powerful, or you can use a one-handed method, which is used for rotation only but can be more convenient if you want to use your other hand for something else. To use the two-handed gesture, you need to position both of your hands in front of the FaceTime camera with your palms facing towards it and your fingers splayed out. Then you can rotate by imagining that you have a ball, a solid ball, between your hands and you're turning it about different axes. You'll notice that the model rotates as well. Make sure to use quite small movements at the beginning until you get used to the way things work. You can also scale. Imagine that you're squeezing your virtual ball or that you're stretching it apart. Squeezing, stretching, squeezing, stretching. You'll soon get the feel of it. The other set of gestures is with one hand. Position your hand in front of the FaceTime camera to position about a virtual axis coming out of the screen towards you. Then twist. You can also rotate about a vertical axis coming up from your keyboard towards your hand and twisting about this. Or imagine a horizontal axis that's parallel to your keyboard and the screen and twist this. But remember, the FaceTime camera needs to see your hand and fingers. Don't try to position your hands too close as you might end up clipping the frame. And if you're too far away, the camera might not recognize your hands or it might get confused if your friends wave their hands around behind you. For best results, click the FaceTime icon in your menu bar and study the preview to ensure that hands and fingers are well within this field of view. We should mention how you can stop the camera from tracking your hand. This will be useful if you've rotated your structure into the perfect position and want to be able to withdraw your hands without them causing the structure to spin away, which would be annoying. So we program things so that if you put your fingers together, the camera will stop tracking. Pull your fingers apart and it should track. Put your fingers together and it should stop tracking. Note that if you're using Crystal Viewer, you can use the same rotation and scaling gestures. Finally, remember again, you need to have your palms facing the camera so it will recognize them. And that's how to use your FaceTime camera for hand tracking on macOS.